So, hey guys, welcome to step two, or part two of my five by five by seven walkthrough solve. It will be too long if it's in one video. So, let me show you what to do now. What you need to do is you need to put these edges down. Because this is not a tutorial, I won't show you all the cases. I'll just show you the case I got. So what I have is I have two, that means I have parity. Because if I have four, I could just put them together. So if I have something like this, I have four, I could just put them together and bring it down. But if I have two, I can't do that. So I have to perform what's called a parity algorithm. Also known as the Red Bow algorithm. If you ever watched Super Antonio Vivaldi, so R2, B2, U2. U2, L, U2, ah, what, what's, oh, because, I, U2, come on, U2, I, U2, R, U2, F2, R, F2, L. You don't have to do B2 to B2 and R2, but you could. I'm not just I'm not doing it here f just for my convenience. So all the edges will remain oriented. That's what you need to solve it. Now let's put our centers in. So I'll show you how we do that on a smaller puzzle. So just bear with me for a moment. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to move this edge down to here using this algorithm. R, I, F, I, M, F, R, F, I, M, F, U, I. So, but I'm going to try to double up here. So. What I could see is I could see these two could go down here. So this is going to be my L. If I do L, I do an FI. R, F, L, F, I. Hopefully, if I could get it aligned, R, F. So there, I got these two in. And now I'm gonna get this one in. Yeah, okay. So L, F, R, I, F, R, R, F, O, I, F, So sorry about that, I just thought something happened. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, put the oranges in. So I could actually double up here. So I do a D move. I could do an R2, like that. I could double up and I could put them in this slot. So F. L. If I do L I, I do F. So now I can undo my moves. Remember, it's this and that. There, I've undid my moves. Now I can put this up here cuz any cuz there have to be something that goes up here. You can't double up or anything. So there. This is kind of my single thing now, but I'm just going to take the 3 bar out here. 
because putting them in one by one is kind of boring. But I'm first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one in, which doesn't belong here, so I have to take these three bar out. So let's do it. All three of these layers now. There, I've taken taken the three bar out. So now, there's a blue here and a blue here. I'll put in the green, which is here, so I'll first put in the red. You two. So, put the red in first. So this is just a longer solve. I don't have a more efficient method than this because this is a method I came up with and that's why I do walkthrough solves on so I don't do walkthrough solves on a method that I learn maybe so I could see I could double up here and if this goes here then I could put them in here so R2 U R2 UI so those are my setup sorry for that uh, and I could put them in. So I'm going to try to be as efficient as I can, but there is a point that this mesh that isn't that efficient. So reverse this up. U, R2, UI, R2. So now I have these three out. So let's see what I could do now. I have this red that needs to go in with the blue so these have to come out sometime soon then I have this one which is a green but I'm just gonna put the orange in so I could kick the green out so I can't really double up on these ones I actually could but it's very difficult there and now I got the green kicked out Put this one in. Up, down, up. There, I have the orange one to put in. So I basically don't have any choice now unless I want to kick some stuff out. Now I have the blue one to put in, and these two have to be swapped. Or I could just kick out this two bar here, kick this out, put this in, and put that in. But I'm just going to do it the easy way. So put the blue in. So I'm just going to attempt this for a moment, see if I could actually put this one in. Looks like I can't. So it looks like I have to kick the blue out. But one thing I think I could do. No, I have to kick the red out. So old boring way, but it works. So I've kicked it out. Put the red in. So that's what you basically do for your centers. It's not that efficient, I, and I know that, but it's very simple, and I came up with it. Next are the top and bottom center, and you do the same thing. But first, you want to put some of these in. So what I could see is I have only one here, so I'm just going to put it into where there's four. It looks like... I have that's the most I can put in. So now I'm gonna put this one in R2 Oh 
hopefully I don't mess up anything here. Which I kind of do. Uh, now I have one, two, three, four here, and I have four here, so I can't double up on anything. But I'm just going to put them in one by one. All these are in. Oops, did I just screw something up? Okay. Phew, I got it back. Yep, I got it back. So that's kind of weird. So I'm probably gonna do centers. And hopefully I could do edge pairing in this video, but that might not happen because my battery is low now there I've done all my centers it looks like I still have some time so I'm just going to do edge pairing very quickly not don't explain a lot so let's get started pair it up move it out of the way and then I will need red and yellow here so I'm gonna pair this up something like that so it's like cuboid free slicing <laughs> that's the method I use for edge pairing put take this out get the this one in Do the move, move it out of the way. So I have one more after I finish my first eight edges. Now I could move something in here, which is here. Nope. Sorry for that. Jeez. There 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 so I've done my first eight place the last eight on the top one layer not really the top but on one layer then do some algorithms to put them in it looks like this has to go here yep doesn't look like I do I have floppy parity I'm just gonna do a J perm because it seems to be faster than the typical cuboid algorithm you do that looks fine and see if I have floppy parity or not this one's good this one's all three of these are not good so and Okay, so the orange here needs to go here, so it needs to be here. Uh, the last four edges are kind of a pain in the butt to deal with, but that's the way it goes. So I'm just gonna do another J perm and see if I have the floppy parity or not. So I've done the J perm and it looks like I don't bite you have the even layered parity which is solved by the URF algorithm if you watch Super Antonio Body, which I do watch. So now I've finished reduction and it looks like I still have some time so I'm just gonna finish it. So the moment of truth. Nope, that's not my first step. I have to align all this first. And then I'm going to solve the centers with within one plane. So red is going to be here. And orange is here. Now I'm just going to put some corners in. 
Hopefully my battery doesn't die at the moment of truth. To our you to our you I to our now let's to our you to our you I to our Okay to our you to our U I to R. Okay, last one to R. U to R. No, I'm putting it in the wrong place. So it looks like I'm not. To R. Yes, it looks like I am. No, hopefully it doesn't. To R U to R U I to R. And the last one. No, my battery just died at the moment of truth, so I took it out. Well, I got a new battery at least. I, I don't think I do, but I do, so. To our you, to our. Oops. To our. Okay, now I don't have to worry about my battery dying. And now I have a Z perm. To our. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the adjacent swap R2 U R2 Okay the moment R2 Come on U R2 U2 R2 Come on U2 R2 U R2 UI R2 U2 and the moment of truth to U R2 Come on, you two, R two. Come on, you two, R two. You, R two, U I, R two, U I, and it's solved. So finally, I've solved the five by seven by seven. Hopefully, this video helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.